One tactic that I've learned over the years is how to fight and negotiate constructively as opposed to destructively. You get more with honey than you do with a bat. <laughs> Learning to fight constructively is going to get you to your goal in this divorce by not fighting with the other side, by not retaliating, by not escalating the fighting. What you're going to do is you're going to get your best outcome. You want the anger down and you want them to be communicative so that they can hear what you have to say. That'll get you to your goal far more than having someone who is so angry that if you tell them that you want to do something good for them, they'll say no. Retaliating doesn't get anywhere. It's destructive fighting. It doesn't get you anything that you want. You get a no on the other side. The other side says, oh, your client didn't pick up the child at school. Then you write back, the reason she didn't pick up the child at school is it was your client's day to pick up the child at school. So you never get anywhere because those letters back and forth, that, that rancor back and forth, giving the opportunity for the clients to call each other bad names, that doesn't work. All it does is prolong the divorce and make it so much more expensive. What you need to do is you need to get over with your spouse. The best way to do that is to do it non-confrontationally. It's to talk about the issue and talk about the consequences of the issue in an unemotional way. You need to mentally step back from it. You need to think about it. You need to strategize. You need to plan and then present it in the manner that is most likely to get you the result you want. What constructive is, is making proposals, communicating, being persuasive. That's what constructive dialogue is all about, and that's how you get to your goal. It's time for you to restore civility. It's time for you to restore your dignity and take back your life. The divorce starts the beginning of your making decisions for your life. 